What I'm going to tell you guys has bothered me for 46 years. It, it's hard to talk about. I'm telling you guys because we're friends, we're family, we've sweated together, we've bled together. Yeah. But it started 46 years ago, 1969. We have a garden back there on top of the hill. We drive out here a couple times a week, help grandpa hoe, pick weeds. Me and my brother, my mom, and my grandpa was back there. Well, this time we went back there on the hill of the garden. We're going to pick beans. Well, we picked our bushel of beans, asked them if they'd eat anything else. They said, now nah, go ahead and run around for a while. We both grabbed a tomato. I'll remember that because we was eating tomatoes. Thing to do. We worked our way out around this old horse trail. You get out there so far, it sort of drops off. Had saplings about 10 foot tall. And my brother threw a rock over the hill. And all of a sudden, something was taking these saplings like it was really pissed off and it was just beating these saplings back and forth. You could see the tops of them just being fray laid from one side to the other. But we're watching this and all of a sudden, this great big huge hand and forearm come up out of the tops of them brush and had a hold of this one tree right there. The forearm on this thing was that big around. Wow. Oh my gosh. If this thing got a hold of your head, there is no doubt in my mind it'd squish you like a tomato. Huckleberry doesn't impress easy. For him to be impressed by this creature's forearms, this thing must be massive. It stepped up on this rock, and when it did, I got to see the shoulders. The shoulders was ever a bit this wide. And we pounded feet out of there. I mean, just as fast as we could run. There is no doubt in my mind whatsoever that I seen a Bigfoot that day. My grandpa told me that we should never talk about that. I wish to God I'd listened to him. People's been just downright mean, I mean, it, it's hard to talk about. I've been ridiculed. I've been thrown out of school. To this day, people will laugh at you. This thing damn near ruined my life. It ruined my brother. My, my brother will not talk whatever about this. Wow. It changed my life. It's been 46 years since my encounter. There's not one day goes by that I don't think about this Bigfoot. He's in my head. I can't get him out. It's time to do this. I'm ready to go after him. I'm going to confront my demon.